So, man, look, real, and uh, I know feelings are different for different people when, you know, they're getting out. Some people getting out the families. Some people getting out started from ground zero, right? So, and I just want you to explain to uh, to me and Crib Night and the audience, what was it like for you, uh, your first day, uh, your first day home? Shit. You want the truth? The truth is my first day. Okay, before my first day home, I tried to catch a case. I tried to catch a case and stay in prison. Because what? The rumor, <laughs> the rumor. Yeah, listen. The rumor was, the rumor was when they we didn't get the stimulus package, right? 2008 they didn't do the stimulus package. And then, you know, Rick Perry asked for, you know, some money for the prisons. And, and Obama sent a team and, uh, out of the uh, prison. And he's like, man, you got all these people that can make parole. We ain't getting you no money. They got 15 years or better. You don't get no money. Y'all got to you know what I'm saying? That's it. So that's actually how I got out. They kicked everybody out, hoping that we'll come back. So in the process of that, when I went down there to make parole, they had this dude named Paul Kill. Anybody been on, on, on Region 3, they know Paul Kill. He a hoe. So, and he had told my mama one time, uh, anybody got murder case or rape, I ain't never letting them out. They ain't never voting for them. Fuck them. They can die in prison. So now my mom did. You know what I'm saying? So now I go down there and see him. He my commission. I go in there and he introduced himself. And I'm like, oh, shit. I finally get to say something to him. You know, of course, I'm holding all this pain inside. And I go in on him in there and knock all the shit off the desk and storm out. I, I feel like I, I feel uh, vindicated. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. man, I'm nah, defending my that to my mama bro so i gotta give you this shit right here so i go back to the block they come down there the major them they like say man come back up here man uh, they need to talk to you man i fuck that parole i ain't going no wrong give a damn so i go back up there and dudes telling me if you fill out a pink form you made parole i'm looking over there you got the pink form i'm like okay cool so valentine's day sitting on the bench you know what i'm saying with my home we topping up get the paper I said, look, I got my parole paper. I handed it to him, like, man, I already know I got three years set off. So she, we sitting there, and he opened it, he like, man, why you playing? I said, what? Man, you made parole. Bullshit, nigga, let me see that. I got an F by three. So now I'm on this count time, seven o'clock. I'm on the tier. I'm looking out the window, thinking, damn, I didn't make parole, but now I don't really know, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm conflicted in my feelings. Like, damn, I'm finna, I could go home. My mama gone. I'm like, everybody in my family dead, damn near. And I'm like, nigga, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do out there. I'm looking outside at the door where the laws live at. I'm looking at the BQs and shit. I'm like, nigga, that shit ain't for me out there. Fuck that shit. I ain't going. And I told him when I went back in the day room, man, fuck that, fuck that shit. I'm gonna fuck that shit out, bro. I don't wanna go nowhere. I'm gonna do my whole sentence. And then that way I ain't gotta give him shit. He told me I was tripping. I was like, nah, man. And I was working at SIG at the time, you know what I'm saying, on the food court. He, like you said, the Nigerians. You know how they are, they assholes. So I right. go back there every day talking shit to the Nigerians, trying to start, a, just get into it and get a case. And uh, I actually end up getting into it with a Nigerian, had him by the collar against the bars. We, we tussling over a box. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, they write, they was get me locked up, but the lieutenant, well, not the lieutenant, the captain came. I know him. Says CEO, he named Peacock. He come back there like, man, what the fuck you doing? And don't you got an F5? Like, yeah. Man, take your ass home, man. I ain't finna let you. Man, take your ass home. Don't come back to work no more. You ain't never got to come back. Just stay on the block, man. Just take your ass home. So I was like, man, bitch ass shit. So I go and I keep trying to get in trouble, bro. I don't want to go. So everybody telling me the laws, they grew up with us too. Go home, nigga. What's wrong with you? Don't you want to go home? But they not understandable. The like they I said, my mom got to fuck me up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm feeling lost. Like I don't ain't nothing out there for me. So anyway, long story short, I go home. My first day at home, I get home. It's cool. I see my daughter and shit. And uh, man, the next day I want I had to go report. So when I leave the uh, leave a report, I didn't get to go to my mama's funeral. So I, but I wanted to go to that cemetery. That shit deep, but uh, yeah, yeah take, your time. take your time, take your time, man. Take your time, right. That shit yeah, is like, did. so you know, nigga, it just made me think back, you know what I'm saying? You got yeah. so look, I go out there and I'm like, damn, 
You know what I'm saying? That was hard. So it was like I heard her talking to me, telling me, like, you here now. You remember everything I told you to do. You got to do that shit now. So I just told myself, you know what? I'm going to just uh, – I'm going to do exactly that, man. I'm going to just do everything I'm doing. It's for my mama. It's not really for me. However, I may feel conflicted or something like that. I'm going I'm to push that shit to the side and do what I got to do for her because I need her to be proud of me. You know what I'm saying? Because I fucked right. up. And the only way I'm going to fix it is I got to go out here and clean this shit up that I did. <laughs>